Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to control the LED blinking from serial monitor in real time. So, first of all, let's see how to connect the LED. Take an LED, connect its node to the 13th pin of the Arduino and another to the ground of the Arduino. This is a very simple circuit here. Now, let's see the code for how we can control the blinking of an LED from serial monitor in real time. So, first of all, we will define the LED pin as 30. This means that LED pin is connected on the 13th pin of the Arduino and initially set the LED state as low. That means it should be turned off. Then we will declare a variable int interval, which is used to store the interval at which the LED blinks at default. So next is going to be a string variable user data to store the data given by the user. Suppose if I give 1000, which means that the LED should blink at an interval of one second. If I give it as 3000, the LED should blink at the interval of three seconds. So next is the integer uh, unsigned long variable previous millis equals to zero, which is used to store the milliseconds in which the LED blinking operates. We'll see how it works later. So in the void setup loop, first of all, we will write serial begin dot 9600, which means that data should be transmitted at 9600 bits per second. Then we will set the digital pin as output. This LED pin should be set as output and we will give a default interval of 1000, which means that interval at which the LED blinks is one second. Then in the void loop function, which is the most important function here, let's see how this works. If serial dot available is greater than zero, this means this function continuously checks if there is an input on the serial monitor. If there is an input, the value will be greater than zero. So therefore, it goes inside the loop here. And then it reads the data serial dot read string. This is used to read the string in the serial monitor. So if I gave an input as 1000, it will read 1000 as string and store it in the variable user data. Now, as this is a string, we cannot give string as an input for interval. We need to give it as integer. So we convert the user data to integer in this line and store it as interval. To make sure what we have written, we do a serial print line of interval and see what interval we have given. So after this loop, after this loop is finished, we come to here. Unsigned long current milliseconds equals to milliseconds. We will store the current milliseconds at which the LED is. LED operation is working. That gives us the current milliseconds. Then we go to this line. If current milliseconds minus previous milliseconds is greater than zero, is greater or equal to interval. So let's see how this works. Suppose the LED previously was at 1000 milliseconds and then it is at 2000 milliseconds. If we see the difference, it gives us 1000 milliseconds, which is our interval. So this means that LED, it's time for the LED to turn off or turn on. Suppose initially that LED is turned on and the current milliseconds and previous milliseconds, the difference is 1000. This means the LED should be turned off. Therefore, it will go inside the loop store the previous millise current milliseconds in the previous milliseconds, save the last time you blink the LED, and let's see if the state is on or off. So therefore, if the, if the LED state is equals to low, it will change it to high, and if it is high, it will change it to low. So if we change the interval here, if we give not 1000, we give it 3000. So if the current milliseconds is 3000, and the previous milliseconds were suppose the initial zero time, so this gives us 3000 milliseconds. Therefore, if the, this satisfies this equation here, so we go inside, change this and change the state of LED from high to low or low to high. Then digital write this LED state, like if it should be turned on or turned off. So this was the code here. So let's see it's working now. Let's start the simulation. Earlier, we have an interval of 1000 here, here, but now we want to change it, suppose 200 milliseconds. Let's say 200 here 
and let's see how the LCD, LED change. I've written 200 here. Now let how see how the LED is blinking more faster here. Let's change it to 500. That means half a second. The LED blinks in half a second. So the LED blinking has changed. Now let's take it to 3000. This means the LED blinks in 3 seconds. 1, 2 and 3. It should turn on. And 1, 2 and 3. It should turn off. So let's take it to 5000. You can see the time here. The LED blinks according to how the time passes here. It should blink on 30 seconds. Blink off. Here, it turned off. Let's take it back to 1000. On. And it turns off. So this is how this code works. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.